Hi, you guys. Hi. Oh my God. I don't know. Were you guys, any of you guys watching, um, love after lockup? Because that shit is crazy. Um, hi. Oh, everybody's here. Yay. Um, watching love after lockup, you guys. Um, I don't know if you, or life after lockup, whatever they're calling it. Sorry, I'm trying to pull up my Instagram on my computer. Um, so, crazy eyes, I was thinking of you because <laughs> the whole, um, Bar uh, Brittany and Marcelino being pregnant, you called that shit. You outed them how long ago? And Marcelino, like, was all over your shit about it? <laughs> like, yeah. Um... He was all over your shit. Yeah. Um, it's usually on um, YouTube. I think somebody puts it on YouTube. Like, yeah, back so back in August, you guys, so Crazy Eyes KM2, she's the one that actually she found that information. She had all of that information about Marcelino and Brittany having, being pregnant. And she put it all out there along with all the evidence and the, all the reasons why, like, she suspected it and why she believed it was true. And then, um, and then, <laughs> um, she posts all this stuff and then Marcelino came after her. Um, because sometimes Cass gets, they get mean with us bloggers. They don't, they, they don't like, <laughs> they don't like, like, Tim is mad at me because, um, I outed his fraud, but I mean, fraud is fraud, right? What? So anyway, so she outs this information. Marcelino comes after her like gangbusters and was like, I'm going to sue you. He was like threatening legal action and saying all kinds of really nasty things um, to her and stuff. And look, and she was right. You know, she was right. Like what the actual fuck? What was Tim's fraud? Tim and Jennifer's whole storyline was, was fake because they met in Mexico prior to the filming in Colombia. Oh my god, you guys, where have you guys been? Eh, stop! The dogs are crazy right now. Eh, hi, Tony. Tim, mad I'm doing something right here. Yeah. Tim's relationship was a complete and total fraud. I feel like every time I have a live, I'm retelling that story. How do you guys not know this? Podcast episode two goes into detail about it. Yes, Tim and Jennifer met in Mexico. Um, they had, they had called the contact of the show. Show had called them back. They went to Mexico. They didn't hit it off. Tim came back early. Then the show called, so they went on. Um, and uh, they went on. Yeah, so they went on. They didn't. They didn't tell TLC they'd met already. So it was like fraud within a fraud. We actually talk. <laughs> we actually talk about it um, on our fraud and review show as well. Um, yeah, we talked about Dean and Pillow Talk. I think last week or the week before. Um, why they put him on Pillow Talk being a fraud? Um, they didn't know, and I and I mean I'm sure they've heard my version of events that came out, but um, they don't acknowledge my existence generally. So, so I don't know. I mean, like, I think Tim's a nice guy. I, I like him. Hi, Shawnee. Um, I think Tim's a nice guy. He just doesn't like me. You know, I've got sources that talk to him and they don't like him. Did they do it in Mexico? <laughs> Sarah's on live now. Oh, someone needs to watch that. Um, um, Crazy eyes, stop with the feminine. He, he, <laughs> can I interview Tim? <laughs> Tim would never interview with me. But plus he's um under a new NDA because of Pillow Talk. So it like resets. He is, his old NDA expired in February, but they re-signed him for Pillow Talk, so they got him under a new NDA. So that's another year. So that's kind of okay. So that's kind of what another reason why he might be on Pillow Talk, right? Is um, so this TLC one hundred percent does this is they put these people on Pillow Talk as a way of maintaining their NDAs because their NDAs um, last like a year generally 
uh, some last longer. Other parts of their things was um, of their contracts last longer. Um, so <laughs> Tim would rather actually bang Jennifer than interview with me. Yeah, it's probably accurate. Um, yeah, so, I mean, we talked about this on one of the episodes of the, the, um, podcast, uh, all the sort of the secrets behind, um, behind pillow talk. So they, they, um, I'll get to Tim and Dean. I'll re I'll re address that, but, um, Oh my God, you guys don't, not with the sexuality stuff. Okay. I will, I will revisit the Tim and Dean story, but, um, but I, I don't, I don't like the whole everybody when they start calling, um, <laughs> Kim and Sam, <laughs> hello, Kimberly and Sam. <laughs> that was hilarious on the podcast this week. Um, um, okay. So, don't with the Tim is born, you know, there's, he's transsexual, all the, you know, trans, sorry, God, transsexual, Jesus Christ, where's my head? Transgender, like all of these people, like these pe like rumors that are putting out there just because he's not traditionally masculine looking doesn't mean that he is gay like that or that he, um, um, yeah, send me a, um, Send me a message and I'll do shout outs. Um, uh, just because someone's not traditionally male gender or whatever, like doesn't mean that they're a woman or gay. And, and I think perpetuating that is just playing into like gender normative stereotypes that I don't think is helpful to anybody. Um, so, um, so that, that's my stance on it. Regardless if I like Tim or don't like Tim, I really don't like um, the, the implication just because he's not this big brute caveman that he, um, must be gay like that. That's just, no, he's not transgender. <laughs> he's not, <laughs> um, I am not on cameo. I, I can be, I guess. I don't know. Um, yeah, it's just enforcing a gender normative stereotype that I think is um, really old and outdated, and I believe that it that needs to go away. Um, just because a guy is feminine doesn't mean they're gay. Just because a girl is kind of brute doesn't mean she's a lesbian. Like, whatever. So, no, he's not transgender. No. Um, I'll see you up with Cameo. <laughs> oh, okay, Ashley. Um, I still need to I schedule you to be a guest, uh, guest co-host, Ashley. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah. Okay. Yes. Stop disrespecting trans people. Um, how do I get the inside scoop on the 90 day cast? I have friends in high places. Now I have a lot of, a lot of contacts and I have a lot of sources and I do a lot of investigating and a lot of research. Sean will never ask the fan questions at the reunion. Nope. Sean is as much a cast member as the other way, um, as, as the cast members themselves. Um, she has her little script that she reads. Um, there's a reason why they do the tell all and the, they film it in the middle, like early on in the season. Right. Um, there's a reason why that, no, Tim is not gay. No. Yeah. <laughs> He respected her. No, he doesn't like her. That's why he didn't get with her. <laughs> um, yeah, he didn't like Jennifer. They had already met and they didn't get along. Um, so that's, hey, stop it. Tony, what are you doing? Lunchbox is trying to eat my bedspread. <sighs> um, okay, so tell all. The tell all filmed a month and a half ago, I think. Yes. Annie and Rob got married. Um, so I don't really have an agenda for this one tonight. So, I mean, I, we can kind of like, uh, I've got a little bit of news about Avery, that Avery story that's been out. I can talk about, um, and then some, another story that, uh, uh, somebody messaged me about, but, um, 
No, Tim and Jennifer are not together and they never have been together. Yeah. Um, I'm working on more um, s leaks from the tell-all. I've gotten some, but um, not a ton. Uh, we know that Michael was not there. We know that Natalie was not there. Um, who didn't get married? Michael and Angela and Mike and Natalie. Yeah. I saw that. It's so... The Avery story, for those of you guys who don't know, is she had posted that she had gone into a Walmart where she lives in Ohio, Columbus, Ohio. And um, she, yeah, I have some th thoughts on Sasha. I'll get to that in a minute. Okay, so Avery had gone in. She was wearing, you know, her um, hajib, as she does. And they um, allegedly, these two people, two uh, greeters or whatever, were talking in another language to um about her and making really racist statements and then she told management and got them fired um there's some speculation that it's not a true story uh i don't know i don't have an opinion on it on whether it's true uh, i i believe that it could certainly happen i certainly believe that people are racist as fuck uh, I hear it. I see it on a daily basis. This country, there's a lot of people who are racist as fuck and they have no problem being vocal about it. Did that story happen as Avery says it? It seems a little too pretty to be. It's like the, what's his name? Jesse Smollett story where it turned out he staged his whole hate crime thing. Um, snack pack. Say hi to snack pack. Say hi. Hi, baby. <laughs> um, she said she spoke the language I don't know what language they were speaking yeah even happened how would she know if they got fired exactly like that doesn't like they're, they're not gonna they're not gonna come out and tell her oh we fired them <laughs> that'd be a lot of HR violations and I know that um I know a lot about Walmart's employment practices <laughs> because I work in labor law. Um, and I don't think that that's something they would do. So, um, you'd love my interview with Benjamin's ex-wife. Thank you. Um, did you know that Benjamin's ex-wife is now my co-host of the podcast? Oh, she thought she said that they assume she didn't speak English because she's a white girl wearing a uh, um, hajib. Okay. Tanya and Sinjin are married, yes. Walmart gave a statement about it? They they verified the story? Yeah, usually management won't disclose their disciplinary actions, yeah. Um, oh, <laughs> Sorry, we're trying to we're trying to erase that part of your of your past. I work in law. Yes, I work. I'm a labor lawyer. Um, Ben's still together with Akini. Yes. How do you find my podcast? Okay. Do you know where podcasts are found in general? If you do, then search for the broadcast. Otherwise, you can um, go to like Apple Podcasts. Hijab, not Hashi. Thank you. Thank you. Um, my brain is not firing on all. Um, cylinders. I sincerely apologize. I did not mean to make that. I, I know better than that. Uh, um, I have my medication today. So um, yeah, sorry. I, I, I did not mean for that um, to be getting that wrong. I apologize. Um, Avery does not work for Walmart. She went to a Walmart as a customer. Can You cannot get podcasts on TV. They're on um, an app on your phone or you can go to my website talkersoffraud.com and listen to it there it's like um a podcast is like so we record it and then we post it and then <laughs> um am i okay my brain's just all over the place um my medication today and then i took a nap before love after lockup so i'm just a little a little crazy um the name of the podcast is the fraudcast <laughs> Um, oh, look at you guys making friends, um, Apple iTunes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. You guys, um, 
Also, my brain is is fried. I've I finally ho have no children in my house for the first time in like weeks, 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 weeks. Fellow MSer and lawyer here. Yeah, there you go. Um, it's old timey radio. <laughs> Podcasts are, are not filmed; they're audio. It's like an audio radio show, but it's not on radio. Um, it's an audio show that gets posted digitally, and then you can listen anytime you want. Um, oh, if you have Apple TV, you can get it on your TV. Okay. But there's no, there's no visual to it. Um, it's, it's funny. Is it true? Michael got denied because he's HIV. I have not heard that. No. Hi, Anna Marie. Um, oh, they're looking into it. Okay. Okay. So Walmart says they're looking into it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about that. Lots of attorneys in here. Alexi and Lauren filming again, that would not surprise me. They've been actually pretty big hits on um, Pillow Talk. And with her being pregnant, following them for like Happily Ever After or some version of that is probably makes sense. You prefer Rush Limbaugh when you listen to the radio? <laughs> okay. Um, we don't know why he got denied. Um the speculation is just because he's from a high fraud country and the age difference between the two. Um, what is very cool is we have um, uh, we have a former customs and visa officer um, coming on the show this week. Yay! Um, I'm in D.C. too. I am Prince Henry. Yeah, I work in D.C. as well. He got denied because he has a bullet. Oh my god, you guys, rumors. Nobody knows. Nobody knows um why he got denied. Yes, the Tanya pregnancy rumor is really, really old and she's not pregnant. Um okay, do you, what? What oh. I'm gonna you know uh yeah. So the podcast comes out, I usually publish it Tuesday nights, but it is, once it gets published, you can listen to it anytime that's com convenient for you. That's what's awesome about podcasts. <laughs> Bull and HIV. He got denied because he's pregnant. That must be it, you guys. He got denied because he's pregnant. <laughs> you can dress up as lawyers. What is wrong with you guys tonight? No, she is not Medikini. Ah, oh, enough Fairfax. Okay, you should come when we get our finally get our shit together and plan our Northern Virginia meetup. You should come. Um, you guys are cracking me up. My podcast is called The Fraudcast. Akini's not pregnant. There's no way she would be able to get. Well, if she's pregnant, it's not Ben's. Um, yeah. So the. Cause the former visa officer that we have coming on is um, has some opinions about that. So he's going to he's going to share his experience. He's going to expare um, explain like he's going to share his like he doesn't have inside knowledge of these particular people, but he was a visa officer for a long time. So he has made these decisions um, on people's visa applications. So he'll be able to. Give us his insight and opinion on a lot of this stuff. If you guys have questions, ask a former Visa Customs officer. Send them to me um, or go to talkersoffraud.com and, and put them in the dump. Um, and those that sends an email to us and we'll get them. Um, and we can because we're going to be talking to him Monday night. Um. So anything new on Talker of Shits? No, the last was her um, court hearing was continued to the end of January. Um. <laughs> You're an old man now, but can still work the pole. <laughs> yeah, we've seen that the Maury stuff is so old, you guys. Updates from anyone on the new cast. Um. Not really. I mean, oh, we're working on something big. We're working on something really big. Um, I don't know what Talker of Shit's face is as far as what her possible jail time is. I have no clue what, it, what any of that is. I just know it's on the public website. 
So, um, um, <laughs> no, <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so we are, um, working on a really big investigation into a, one of the current couples that's on right now, um, to some fraud that we believe is super, super fraud. Uh, <laughs> and that we suspect what is being shown on the screen is not a nearly an accurate representation of what happened. Um, it's still fresh. We don't quite have some of the dates nailed down, so we are working on it, but hopefully, um, Cactus Fruit Juice, Hanakawa, is digging that as we speak. So hopefully she'll be able to update everybody on the podcast this week. <laughs> no, it's really good, though. <laughs> um, yeah. Marcel having mental issues. Oh my God, here for drama, I'm about to boot you out of this chat because <laughs> I'm tired of your shit. Stop it. Um, no, okay, so what I heard about Marcel, so I heard this on the um, Pink Shade with Aaron Martin spot, uh, podcast, which if you guys don't listen to, you should be. Um, I want to be Aaron Martin when I grow up. So <laughs> go listen to that. She does Housewives and stuff too, but there's a... There's a show that they do that she, with Mary Payne Gilbert that they um, do 90 Day. They were talking about – there's a post on Reddit, I think, and where somebody who is Turkish and speaks Turkish is talking about Marcel. And it's like the way that he speaks and the words that he uses are not um, – like show that he's not quite all there. So – he might be, you know, I know Mary Payne calls him the um, Turkish Forrest Gump. Oh, God, no, I would not say that word. No, the R word. No, 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 no. It's a personal crusade of mine, actually. When people use that word, I um, it, I correct them. That's one of my hills, actually. <laughs> I, I, hi, dames. Um, they're fun, too. If you guys like a lot of different reality shows, they cover, like, the whole spectrum of reality shows. Dames who dish. Um, so yeah, there's some speculation about his intellectual abilities. So, um, I, I don't know. Said that Omar was his chaperone on that point. Yeah. Yeah. So the latest episode of Pink Shade with Aaron Martin, <laughs> he's touched in the head. Um, yeah. Pink Shade with Aaron Martin, they talk about it on their latest episode. So um, I highly recommend them. They're great. They, they do recaps of the episodes. Uh, they take the show sort of at face value. So they talk about me and like what I know because Mary Payne and I actually live near each other. So we see each other. Like we share a dog trainer and stuff. Um, so so we'll talk. And she's like, oh, I'll have to ask Katrina about that because she says that they got married already. But they also try to avoid my um, – my stuff because they they recap the show based on what's on the screen so it's fun it's a it's a really good recap podcast i would i would recommend them um looking for some investigative reporting on love after lockup um i might have some resources for you or i might have some information it depends on what you're looking for um dames um dm me i'll see what i can get you uh i don't spend a lot of time going deep on that, but I, um, I do get some stuff. The love after lockup people, I actually talked to some of the, I've talked to Tracy quite a few times because we, um, you know, she's an ad, a fellow addict. So I feel for her. Um, so yeah, crazy eyes is a good, um, the, the crazy eyes, the dames who dish were looking for some, uh, love after lockup intel. So <laughs> the broadcast. Yes, Laura. Laura's son has Asperger's. So does um, Paul. Paul has. Um, he's somewhere on the spectrum as well. He's self-admitted. Um. Yeah. So Crazy Eyes KM is probably your best bet on that. Um. She she knows her shit. 
<laughs> um, oh, my, oh, you know mine. You're asking for the other one. I will make a post after, um, after the live. And then, yeah, Dames Who Dish. They cover um, a huge variety of shows, like everything under the sun, probably. So if there are shows that you want to listen, that you want d deets about, they do, like I said, everything under the sun. So um, you can go go check them out. Um, no updates on Submit and Jenny, except for that we know that Jenny was filming in Palm Springs. Why is Akini's visa taking so long? It's not. Okay. Um, can I tell us the name of the one of uh, the couples? <laughs> um, no. Uh, it's good. It's good. Um, it's a good fraud, though. Um, what is Love After Lockup the first time tonight? Yeah. It, uh, yeah, it premiered tonight, Scorp. Um, yeah, Akini's <laughs> bikini ain't coming. Not what I know. Um, cactus fruit juice. Yeah, so this is her story. So this this is entirely her. I'm not going to take away any of her um, hard work. I'm going to let her reveal it how she wants to reveal it. So it's her. <laughs> um, so you guys got to convince her. It's her story. Um, so let's talk about Love After Lockup. Yeah? No, she's not here already. Mm -mm. Um. <laughs> A 90 Day Fiance in D.C. this season, huh? Yeah, Cactus, can you come on? <laughs> Cactus. She can't comment on anything Ben and Akini. That's all me. She's recused from Ben and Akini gossip. That's all me. Um, but her other, yeah, her other stuff. <laughs> I've been trying to, you guys, I've been trying to get her to go live with me for weeks. And, um, yeah, she won't do it. <laughs> Serious question. How will this affect Cactus part of the podcast if Akini comes and they want to film Cactus? Um, I doubt that I can't speak for her, but I doubt that she is going to agree to being filmed. Okay, so boom uh boom pow, okay. So you worked okay, so the boom boom room, okay, it's a real thing. All right. You can you can verify this. You just said this. The boom, boom. So Andrea on Love After Lockup said she got pregnant in the in the closet. OK, I know there are prisons in California, one specifically where they call the they call it the boom, boom room. Basically, they sneak in there and she wouldn't be the only person to have gotten pregnant that way. Um, so if you can boom, boom, you can. Um, yeah, they call it a boom, boom room. Yeah. So boom, pow whatever yes so i don't know which prisons those are at um but they talked about it on ear hustle so this is why i know it's a real thing is they have this boom boom room with <laughs> yes you heard it on an ear hustle episode um and then and yeah yeah she's not the only one that's gotten pregnant that way <laughs> like a cleaning closet basically <laughs> yeah yeah they pay off the, I don't know, the guards and the other inmates or something, and they take turns. It, they take turns with it, right? Uh, maybe you can shed some more light on that. <laughs> but California specifically. So Ear Hustle, if you guys don't know, Ear Hustle. Hi, Kim. Um, they get a visit in the boom, boom, boom after the wedding. <laughs> okay, so... Air Hustle is a podcast that's fil uh, that's made and produced entirely from within inside San Quentin Prison, and they do a lot of great episodes. They've got like four or five seasons out. Excuse me. Highly recommend it. Highly recommend. It's one of my fan um, faves. 
Um, and then they, um, they, um, yeah. So there was this one episode, I think it was the first season. There was an episode where they talk about the boom, boom room. Yeah. They, some do have conjugal visits, but, uh, Andrea and Lamar weren't married. You have to be married to have conjugal visits in California. And they, um, they were not married, but the boom, boom room is a real thing. Yeah. And they pay off, like, they, they, they take turns, and, and, and I guess there's this one where, like, there's a patio where the visitation definitely, like, visitation happens, and the visitation, it's like, they they can touch each other, it's contact visitation, and all the couples just kind of, like, turn away from each other while they do their thing, <laughs> which is, like, can you imagine getting, like, bent over a, like, a table on a patio of a prison with like all these other prisoners around. I mean, you do what you gotta do, right? Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> yep. Boom, boom, room. Ear hustle is that podcast, the San Quentin one. Patio fancy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. So, yeah, love after lockup. Some crazy shit. Yeah. So, on the previous season uh, of Love After Lockup, when Andrea and Lamar met up after prison, she was like, "Oh, I can't, I can't marry you. I mean, I can't have sex with you yet because we're not married. I don't believe in premarital sex." Although she apparently believed in getting finger banged in the drive-through. Uh, car wash and um yeah so apparently they have had sex premarital sex um is it a good show oh my god yes yeah love after lockup go straight to season two because for season one was fun but not it not the train wreck that season two was <laughs> spanning time i am not confirming nor denying that information Yes, yes. Go to the 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 We TV app and go watch the old episodes because they're showing like life after lockup now, which is like all the couples after they've gotten out. Um, so they haven't Tracy and Clint haven't been shown yet. Yeah, same characters in multiple seasons. There are some that carry over, and there's love after lockup, and then there's life after lockup. Although they still call it love after lockup on the TV. Um, so, um, they, um, sorry, MS brain. <laughs> uh, it's just season two, Love After Lockup. It's really good. He was at a prison, yeah, in, in Southern California, so, um, no, <laughs> there's just isn't a lot of 90 Day Fiance talk. Hi. Yeah, I would say start at season two. Yeah, because, I mean, season one was fine, but season two is where the shit gets going. Um, Tracy and Clint are sort of sad. Yeah. My girl Tracy, I love her. I love her so much, but it is just breaks my heart seeing her. Let's talk about 90 Day. Okay, what do you have? What are your questions for me about 90 Day? Ask away. Let's let's talk it. Let's talk ninety day. <laughs> um. Hi. Um, Evelyn. When will the cactus fraud be revealed? Hopefully this week on the podcast. Would I ever add love after lockup to my pod? Well, see, here's the thing, like. And I was discussing this because we were talking about Patreon stuff earlier. I was with a uh, hetero life mate. The kind of the the podcast, the brand is is this uncovering fraud, right? It's pulling the curtain back on what you see on TV. The amount of work that goes into ninety day digging is just out of control. Like it's a it's a ton. There's a team of us that do it for on behalf of benefit of the, of the fraudcast. To cover another show doing the same thing, like, I just don't have the, there's just not enough hours in the day for that. So, 
if I covered any of that stuff, it would have to be in a different capacity than uncovering fraud. And there's plenty of other recap podcasts out there. So I don't know what I could offer. Is Darcy on the spectrum? No, she's just an alcoholic or a problem with alcohol. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't know. You guys have talked about wanting me to add love after lockup, but I, I don't know that I have anything else that I could offer to the podcast world that isn't already being covered. You know, there, there it's covered by plenty of other, um, podcasters. So I don't know if I did anything on it, it would probably be on a Patreon. Okay, so Sasha, there's really, there's not, like, I don't have new information on him, um, but we are finding out more information because we, we actually found out what Emily's true name was, her actual legal name, so our background checks have been more successful <laughs> now that we found that out, so we're hopefully getting more information, but they are, Sasha is still here, um, Um, yeah, like, pot after lockup is a good one. Yeah. Um, no, Emily is her real first name, but we were having difficulty finding information on them with the suspected last names. Um, so she had a different last name than what we had suspected. So we we believe Emily and Sasha are married. Yeah. <laughs> no. No, her name is Emily. It was her last name that was different. And we're still trying to figure out where that last name comes from. I don't know. Maybe she was married before. I don't know. But she has a different last name than we suspected. So we just discovered that today. So we're trying to figure that out um, and get what we can on that. Um, Robert and Annie, they're married, allegedly. Eddie seems super cool. Oh, tired. Um, yeah, so Sasha's been on this crusade lately on Instagram, um, defending his honor and defending his, I don't know, like, he's been posting a lot of um, DMs that people are sending him that are really hateful, um, telling him you're a stupid immigrant, go back to your country, all these really ignorant things, which doesn't surprise me at all because I know this fandom. And uh, I get similar messages, not ignorant about immigration, but they tell me a lot of things um, that are just not nice. The things that people feel like they can say. Um, and that's fine. You know, they, people can have their opinion and, and not like me. <laughs> um, but they like to tell people on <laughs> on. um you know, their opinions. And so Sasha has been getting a lot of it. He's been posting it. Um, and it's been, um, pretty, so, and he's doing that, but then he's also been in my comments a lot, uh, answering, like responding to people's comments. Are Tanya and Sinjin still married? Yes. <laughs> yeah. People are very, can be, people can be very rude. Go check out my reviews on Apple podcast someday. Um, those are, mm. Somebody somebody disagrees with my opinion about Je uh, whether or not Jenny knew Summit was married. And so they keep coming on to my to the Apple podcast reviews and leaving these nasty reviews because I believe that Jenny knew about Summit being married and just keeps coming on. Like, keeps leaving me these one-star reviews. Oh, my God, the host still stands by the Jenny new blah, 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 blah. Like, they're really nasty. <laughs> so, um, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> um, she totally knew. And if you don't agree with me about something, that's fine, but you've really got to go to my Apple reviews and leave. Like, this person has left multiple reviews saying that. Um it's old news. Yeah, well, we discussed it on the most recent episode, the Fraud and Review show. Uh, so it was the number one fraud of the year. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. 
So I guess they decided to come on and leave another nasty message. So, yeah, people leave nasty, nasty messages on not just to me. I mean, they send them to me, too, but they also leave them on my podcast reviews. Um, so, yeah, that's why I'm always asking you guys, if you like it, go leave a five star review because it helps counteract the keyboard warriors that are out there. So <laughs> to even out the trolls. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, you know. If you can go and write something nice, that'd be great. And give me five stars and write something nice, that'd be that'd be helpful. So there's somebody uh, that um, has sent a brigade of minions to sabotage my podcast too. So to send a people to leave one star reviews. New haircut? No. Um, in fact, I'm really overdue for a haircut. A lot of people have been saying that to me, but I'm getting my haircut next week. Actually, where are the reviews on Apple Podcasts? I mean, I don't think you even have to listen. If you have an iTunes account, you just, uh, yeah, I bet you know who that is. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, <sighs> grow it long. I had it long for a while, and it's e- sometimes it's easier short. Is there a free for that? iTunes? No. It's free. It's free. Colt and Larissa. Well, Colt is filmed. Larissa's filming again. Yeah, no, there's no fee for iTunes. Thank you. I washed it this morning. Ooh. But I'm getting it cut next week. So next time you guys see me, it'll be different. My stylist, like, I don't have any control when I sit down there. I just go and he asks me what we're doing as if I have any say in what he does to my hair. <laughs> yes, they got married. Yeah. They do get married. I don't think they got married before the call to his parents. No, their marriage certificate is September 8th. And I think that was filmed this summer. Tired of Colt. Yeah, but he's filming again. Or he filmed already. So. The fraudcast, yeah. Uh, I don't have anything new. Um. About Rebecca and Zied, yes, I believe we do get to see the wedding. My source on the ground there says it was kind of a shit show and almost didn't happen. Yeah. You know, I was thinking about that, the lady that Tom allegedly got pregnant and then left for another girl. I was thinking about that today because I hadn't heard anything back from them. And it was like, I called them on it. It was like, give me proof. And they never did. So probably not true then. I don't know anything about Zied's visa at this point. I'll see if I can find something out, but I had I don't know. Is there proof of life for his own? <laughs> Other than Nicole running his Instagram account? Yes, Colt Larissa filming together. And Colt's ex-girlfriend and um and the girl that he wants to be his girlfriend and Larissa's ex Eric. Um. <laughs> Proof of life for us on. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> uh, she totally does. Uh, she totally runs his Instagram. <laughs> Any frauds among the couples from just landed? I'm sure. Um, but I don't know. I haven't looked into any of it yet. Angela and Michael is a true love. Come on. How do I know all of this? Because I'm psychic. No. Um, I have a lot of sources on the ground. People tell me. And Natalie? Was she fired from the show? No. Not that I'm aware of. I don't think she and Mike are fully together. We know she's not in the United States. Nicole, was she fired from the show? I, I don't know if you can say it's fired, but her storyline isn't going anywhere. They, 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 you know, milked it as long as they could, I think. Um, a lot of them do have two Instagram accounts. There's one that's like their 90-day one, and then there's like their real one. Um, and we can usually find both. <laughs> uh 
uh, 900 Day Fiance. Exactly, exactly. Um, um, <laughs> break up, make up, break up, yeah. I know. Good source tells you Ed is a fraud. Okay. Ed is up in, okay, so that's from the new 90 Day, the new before the 90 Days, Big Head Ed or whatever, Big Head, <laughs> whatever he is. Um, he has been up, not in mine, but in other bloggers' um, DMs asking for their addresses so he can send them stickers because he has stickers made of his head. I thankfully have not had this offer, <laughs> but he has been reaching out to, yeah, the net guy, <laughs> the no net guy. He's been reaching out to a lot of the bloggers um, asking uh, for uh, their address. Yeah, Crazy Eyes has all the information on Rebecca, so. Necklace cake, oh my god. He was, no, the new before the 90 days is not. No, I think it airs in February. Yeah. You're not the only one, Muse. Sorry. Stickers. Yes, Shawnee, he has stickers of his head. Um, <laughs> get one and run a giveaway. Muse, get one. Get the stickers. <laughs> Muse has been offered them. <laughs> he follows me, but he hasn't hit up my DMs yet. <laughs> Uh, she's right above you. Love, Danielle. Crazy Eyes KM2. She's right above you. <laughs> she's another blogger. She has... You need your swag bag. It is in a box sitting downstairs ready to go to the mail. Speaking of swag bags, that's a great... Um, so you, snack pack is on a swag bag. Can I have that, Luna? These are my swag bags. It is an orange reusable grocery bag. There's a mug, fraudcast mug. There is a fraudcast cup, plastic cup. There is a fraudcast pop socket. There are broadcast stickers. Those are upside down. And there is a broadcast pen that is a pen on one end and a stylus on the other. So these swag bags can be yours for the low, low price of $30, which includes shipping. You can just PayPal that to me directly with your address, and I will send it out. Um, that's basically just like the cost of the items. So if you are interested in a broadcast swag bag, just hit me up. Let me know. Um, you're going to get yours, Anna Marie. Don't worry. Tom is currently living in New York. Yes. Um, how much of the 90-day shows are staged? Do you think most of it? Is that the Thousand Pound Sisters? A condom? <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? Broadcast branded condoms. Michael's not here. And he's not coming. No. Yes, Angela really lives with all those kids and smoke in her house. Is Juliana really from Brazil? From what I understand, yes. Dogs. Snack pack. Lunchbox. <laughs> Um, Ashley filming another reality show. I don't know. I think she's been trying to shop one around for a while, but I don't know that <laughs> my dogs. Yeah. I love these guys. Um, yes. A thousand pounds. I did see that the other night. Yeah. Yes. My puppies. Look at the babies. Look at the babies. <laughs> yeah, so can, it, it, Karina, your your watches are not going to get anything because he's not there. But yes, 
I should make a lunchbox with my doggy on it for swag. <laughs> yes, they are. They are from Target. <laughs> um. Uh, lunchbox, the big one, is a boy, and snack pack, the small one, is a girl. So, um, I don't know. That's the suspicion, is that they got married in Nigeria, or they're going to get married in Nigeria. But my last intel, which was admittedly like a month and a half ago, they had not gotten married yet. That Angela was still, um trying to figure out what she was going to do. So. Which couple from this season is your favorite and not liked? Tanya's not pregnant. Um, <laughs> um, I like Michael and Juliana this season, which is the couple I thought I'd hate the most. So. Uh, yeah, him get them getting married in Nigeria. Would it help their cause? Yes. Does it help it a hundred percent? I don't know. It it adds to the legitimacy of their relationship. They can because that's what's suspect, right? It's suspect that it's a real relationship, and so the um, if they were to get married, that sort of adds to the legitimacy of the relationship and, and maybe they could get through on a spousal visa. Again, we're going to have a visa officer on a former visa officer on the show this week. So, um, her sister, so Tanya's sister who like, so Tanya's sister went hog wild on Facebook last week about how much of a selfish twat her sister is. So basically like the Tanya that we see on TV is, is what that's it. Yeah. Um, that's who she is. Right. And Tanya's sister has now disappeared from Facebook. <laughs> her Facebook is gone. So, um, I was hoping to talk to her. So, uh, um, yeah, no, I don't think the ex-wife is trying to cause trouble between them. Um, all of that stuff that makes it look like she's trying to cause trouble between Juliana and Michael is um, scripted by the show. She actually officiated their wedding, so she has IG. Tanya's sister, not that I've been able to find. Yes, I believe that it was really Tanya's sister. Um, we have done some deep diving. We know um, her name. We know all of her names. <laughs> I'm not answering that question, Scorpio. Um. <laughs> yes. The so the the taunt. Yeah. <laughs> no. Tanya's mom is a carpenter, I think. She works graveyard shift, which is why she drinks Jack Daniels in the hot tub at 7 in the morning. Which I used to work graveyard shift, so I understand that. When I was a police dispatcher. Oh, we're getting close to the end. So, um... I mean, I'm happy to hop back on, but I don't know what we're really talking about. Um, we have the visa officer coming on and this week. So if you have questions for a former visa officer, shoot them my way or go to the dump. You can go to Talkers. Yes, I was a police dispatcher. Um, Talkersoffraud.com. Uh, you can go to the dump and leave us a message and it sends an email to, to me and um, Hanakawa. And um, buy my swag if you want the swag bag. Again, thirty dollars for the. I have a limited amount with the pop sockets left. So again, that's like just like and that includes shipping. And it's like the cost of the items. Um, I'm probably gonna start selling the the coffee mugs separately. So um, Natalie and Mike are not together, as far as I understand. Um, Natalie's visa has not been approved. She was not at the tell all. So no, real quick. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, so guys, uh, listen to the broadcast. If you haven't listened to the the um, Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve episodes, those are out. Go ahead and listen to those. We'll have a new episode out this week. And I'm starting to think about what I'm going to do for a Patreon. So if you have any ideas about that, please send them my way as well. Like, what would you pay for to hear from me? Um. I know some of you guys have said you want to hear Hetero Life Mate, so we're thinking about doing like a recap show with him on the older seasons. Um, so it's it's hard for um, other shows just going into fraud, so it would have to be maybe something else besides d- un- uncovering like the fraud behind like Plath- Welcome to Plathville or something. And lock up because those are there is a lot of fraud there. But um, yes, the live. Okay, so this live will be in my YouTube. It'll be in my stories for twenty four hours. It'll be in my YouTube after that. Um, yeah, and listen to the podcast as we talk about a lot of these things on them. And uh, if you have any questions for a visa officer, send those my way. Otherwise, uh, yeah, send me if you have questions, comments, concerns, anything. Send me um, send me a message. <laughs> yes, you can still get the swag bag with the pop socket and the mug for thirty dollars now. Yes, yes, I have a YouTube. I'll post all of that, and I'll post the um, links to the those other podcasts that we were talking about earlier um, in my post live uh, stories. Okay, check my stories for those for all those. Okay, I love you guys. Aren't all bloggers in a group chat? I'm not. It's not a big cup. No. No, the other mug that I, the the big cough travel coffee mug is, um, that's a separate item. That's a merch item. I love our Friday fight. It's been an hour already. I can't believe that. (laughs) Thank you guys. Um, love you. Bye.